Hello, welcome to my tech fan. I have a thermal camera for this review in this video and this box, actually this kit is sent to me by the Infiray in exchange for a review. And this camera is Xterm2 T2S Plus. First I thought I will get the P2 Pro camera but when I take it out from the packaging I can see that it's a little bit different one and also some optional accessories are also included. Uh, let's see a few specifications for this camera. The resolution of the infra camera is 256 by 192 pixels. The operating range between minus 20 up to 450 degrees Celsius. And uh, the accuracy is uh, very good, plus minus 2 degrees. Now, properly to get this accuracy, it is very important to set uh, correctly the emission coefficient for the surface we are measuring. It can work on 25 Hz, which I'm not sure how important is it. It can be useful if we uh, try to watch the temperature of some moving object or something like that. It will get the power from the mobile phone and it has adjustable focus. It has very small power consumption. I saw some data that uh, we can use for hours if the uh, phone is fully charged. But um, let's see first the accessories. Beside this camera I, I have this uh, grip which is really ergonomic. This is the holder for the smartphone and probably for the camera and I already checked this is the rail for mounting the laser sight and I have no idea what is this holder for, this is CD printed. In the meantime I got the answer, it's a protective shell for the camera. Laser sight with some allen key for the assembling and the output is 5 megawatts, wow, I could cut a tree in a wood with this, very dangerous. Okay, on box it's correct, it's 5 millivolts, so don't have to worry. The batteries are not included, it requires 3 LR44 batteries and the plus side phase up. If necessary, there are two set screws, with this we can adjust the position in X and Y direction. And now let's see what's in the main box, as you can see this is version for the Android smartphone. And I'm very happy with this because I already have a thermal camera but the biggest problem with that camera is that I cannot record the video. We will see if I can record here with, directly with the app or basically I can always use the screen recorder on my smartphone. Hmm, so the company name is Infrared, not uh, Infrared. This is a small book with the specifications of different cameras. And with some basic instructions, for example which app we have to use micro USB to Type-C adapter cable. And this is the Type-C cable, just quick check. Yes. Nice hard case. Oh, this is tiny. <laughs> Look how small is this. And there is a protection on the lens. There is a resolution. 12 micrometers, probably the wavelength, and this is a type X term 2. Now this camera can be plugged directly to the smartphone. In this case you don't need any of these accessories. Uh, these accessories may be useful if you really want to use this uh, laser sight or maybe you want to use this cable adapter too. Uh, in that case you need a little bit distance between the smartphone and the camera just for testing to see how this uh, accessories works. And the setup is ready. In user manual it says to use search for the Xterm app. Xterm by Infrared. Install. It asks for some permissions and then we have to confirm that we accept the terms and conditions, the red button. And I can see the app is already working, I can see my hand and uh, I had to rotate the camera because it was upside down, so the cable is from this side. And uh, I don't really like these colors, <laughs> you can see the thermal marks, but I think it can be changed and I will switch to screen recorder so you can see exactly what I see here on the smartphone. First here we can do some settings to see what we want to be measured. For example, several points or maybe a line. Hmm. Additional settings. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thermal marks. 
Okay, I think this color combination is the best rainbow. Here we can change if we want to measure in Fahrenheit or in Celsius. And then we have here additional corrections. If we want really to measure accurate, uh, we can set correction if we know the we have some reference temperature, the humidity, ambient temperature. Ah, yes, and here we can set the emissivity. We can turn on and off the watermark and uh, we can set this into three languages. And these are some information about the product. And actually, I don't have to use a screen recorder because uh, with uh, this button, I can create a picture. Or I can start with the recording, but uh, yes, now the microphone is uh, used by the app screen recorder. And here you can see previously saved pictures and videos. And now I'll show you through examples, but uh, I don't have to use the screen recorder now. I use it because I want to show you the menu too, but here I can actually from the app record the picture or the video. Well actually from now on I will use it in this position without the cable because it uh, uses less space and I can easily bring it with me using this hard case. I forget to mention that the focus is adjustable and if I need something close look how sharp the image I have now. And now let's see some examples. I have in the progress the review of this CD printer and I want to check the temperature of this print surface. I'm in the garage now and let's see if any car arrived, I don't know, a few minutes ago. But it's only in the morning, it looks like nobody arrives now, only they leave. Uh, let's see the temperatures. And it's afternoon now, and actually I can see two cars which arrived maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. These two cars. These are pipes for the different waters, rainwater and similar. And this is how they look in the thermal camera. And we can see in the middle this one is cold. And now we can see the temperatures too. In our flat, pipes goes into flow to the radiator or colored hot water. Let's see on the thermal camera if we can notice anything. <laughs> oh, interesting. So this is the radiator. And this is also the radiator. radiator. You can see it splits between these two rooms. Ah, and there is the Bamboo Lab printer. He just finished the printing. On our balcony, the grass here is in the shadow and there on the sun, and for the feeling it is much dif big difference. And it is visible on camera too. So yes, 4 or 5 degrees in the shadow and approximately 26, 27 degrees on the sun. And for the feeling, yes, that's the temperature too. I'm not sure what is the range of this camera, but even from the sixth floor, I can see the temperature difference on those cars. And you can see these arrives maybe less than half hours ago. Here, even the engine is still hot, and the other cars are very cold. I was outside a few minutes, and I can see my nose and ears are very cold, and my fingers. So which chair was used a couple of minutes ago? And now it's obvious. I wanted to check the thermal ceiling on these windows and doors and then I noticed interesting thing there. <laughs> and I didn't know about this. Now I'm not sure at this moment, but I think the screen recorded footage is uh, nicer than the video recorded by the app. But let's check that. So this is the footage recorded by the screen recorder. And this is recorded by the app. And here they are side by side. Actually when I zoom in they are quite equal. As you can see it's completely dark on our balcony now and I cannot see anything. 
but with thermal camera I can see everything actually I can see the night and uh, I think uh, this uh, black hot is the best for this so completely dark and I cannot see anything with my bare eyes but everything is visible through this thermal camera and one more time to switch to the regular camera and this camera was a really pleasant surprise, so small but works great and definitely it will replace my existing camera. And uh, I'm curious if you are using thermal camera and what is the brand and uh, what is your experience or maybe what is your opinion about this one. You can write me a few lines in the comment section. But thank you for watching and uh, I hope this was useful. See you in my next video. Bye.